Alright, what's going on everyone? William from Sinon Deju. Welcome to a brand new episode on the Discord.js barcoding tutorial. Today in this episode, we're going to show you guys how to make event handlers to handle all of your events, like ready event, message event, um, player join, um, sorry, member join events, like um, guild member add event, I guess it's called, uh, whatever it's actually called, actually. Um, I think it's guild uh, guild member add there you go guild member add event um anyways anyways uh that's it we're, we're gonna do that right now in today's episode i'm gonna show, show you guys how so what you need to do is we're gonna go do a create a new file i'm gonna call it functions.js i can't actually type functions.js uh, you don't have to, but I'm just going to separate them into uh, files like this. Next, what we need to do is we're going to need to module that exports, and we're going to go ahead and pass in bot as an argument, as a, as a parameter. And what we need to do here is simple, uh, simply just go ahead and take a fast here, and we're going to put it down here. Now, seeing as I already have these here, uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this entire piece of code and put it inside my module exports. And um, this way, yeah, there you go. This way, it's more clean, and you can see what's going on a lot easier. And <clears throat> we're pretty much done, honestly. This is a really quick video. Um, so what we need to do is fs dot read directory. And we're gonna need to do is our uh, events. We're gonna actually no. We're gonna call it handlers because that's what it is. So handlers, and then we're gonna need to do error, and then our files as well. Right there we go. Now we got in our parameters. So if error, and then we're gonna just simply do console dot error our error. Alright, so now what we're going to need to do is if files.length dot .length Honestly, I should probably do this the same way as I did down here. Honestly, this is honestly, honestly guys, um This is practically the same thing. So let's just go ahead and copy this. This, this is technically the same thing, honestly. Just changing the folder directory is pretty much all you need to do. Handlers. And we just need to remove the bot set uh, things here. Uh, we don't need this. And... Instead, we'll just go put events, and then events here. And uh, we're pretty much done. I, if I'm not making any mistakes, that should be it. Now what we need to do is create a new folder, and we're going to simply call it handlers, which is going to be that handler right there. Now, if this is l less than that, that means there should be no events to load. If we load the bot now... Uh, okay, wait, hold on. I forgot. Sorry, guys. What you need to do is you need to require the functions files. Otherwise, uh, you won't work. We're also going to need to pass in bot as an argument because we put a bot as a parameter down here, over here. So, now if we do this, there you go. There are no events to load and loading six commands. There you go. Now, that's because our handlers folder here is empty. What we need to do is we need to go ahead and Go ahead and create a file inside. Now, now what we're going to need to do here, uh, obviously now we have message event to load. What we need to do is something a little bit different. We're going to need, we're obviously going to need our bot here, but we don't want to create a new client. So what we need to do is go all the way down here. We're going to do module.exports and we'll just do bot as bot. We don't need to put semicolon there. And basically what we do in our message event 
is we simply do cons. We're going to put that there for now. You're going to see why in a moment. So we're going to require. And we're going to require our index file. And inside here, as you can see, we can pass in bot there. So now what we're going to do is simply, really simple. We're going to go into index, index here. And we're going to go ahead and simply copy this entire file into our entire message event down into here. I don't like that, so let's just go ahead and do this. There we go. Now, there you go. Our, our message event is done. Now, what we can again do is close that out. And so what we're going to do now is let's go ahead and put our ready event. And we can go ahead as well as copy our ready event and paste it down here. And we're just going to go ahead and do that. And again, we're just going to go and pass in bot here from our index file, like so. And there we go. Um, ready event's done. Everything is done. Now, because we use bot here, we can simply leave those here. And let's go ahead and do bot login. We're also going to put that into our ready event because why not? Uh, we might want to actually put this on top. There we go. Like so, we ready. It's good. Um, we got a ready event. We got the message event, and um, everything should be loaded properly. In theory, it should. Um, typo. It didn't. Ah, okay. I see where this is going. So require. What we need to do here is require our files from. Uh, basically, we just require we need to require all the files that we are loading. So now it should work. SSJS cannot find module files. Right. What we need to do is. Honestly, it's really obvious that why I'm doing this wrong. So what we need to do is require we just need a simple a single slash here, and we do handlers. And what we do here is require our file. So let's go ahead and make this into a template literals. F. And there we go. This should work. No, actually, this needs two dots. Right. There. Okay. Okay. There we go. This should work now. In theory, uh, why is that? Alright, okay, config, config is not. Um, right, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Config isn't defined, so let's go ahead and define config everywhere. There we go. Okay, and config should be a double dot now because we are no longer in the index file. So this should be good. Please, no more errors. There we go. Now if we do tut and everything works perfectly. As you can see, everything works just like we wanted it to work. And it should be DND &D actually. I don't know why it's not DND, &D, but in the it should be DND. &D. I don't know why it isn't. It might be a bug on Discord.js's side because the, the, I, I don't see any, any errors down here or anything. Uh, I'll figure that out. It's probably because it's taking time to update or something. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to drop a like. And uh, if you really enjoyed it and want to stay tuned for future videos, make sure to subscribe. Honestly, this took longer than expected. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.